Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV with your college football top 25 video for this Saturday, week 12, November the 18th. Just a couple full weekends remaining in the regular season. We got four head to head top 25 matchups. And wasn't sure we'd have that many because, you know, the SEC is playing some bottom feeders, but we actually have a top 20 SEC matchup, a couple in the Pac 12, and also one in the Big 12. So four head to head top 25 matchups to talk about here in week 12 college football. I'm gonna break those down for you. I'm gonna give you my database simulation, 10,000 games run through the database. I'll let you know the average margin of victory. That's a good starting point for a power rating. And then we dig a little bit deeper with some situational analysis, let you know where there might be some edges here in week 12 college football, free for you here on Wager Talk TV. Hey, do me a couple of quick favors. Give it a thumbs up, a like, and comment below. I read all the comments, I reply back. Let me know your thoughts, not only these top 25 games, but other best bets you'd like here in Week 12 college football for this Saturday, maybe some under-the-radar small conference games as well. They cast just as nicely. Let's win together here. Comment below. I read all the comments, and I reply back on Wager Talk TV. All right, we're going to start with the uh, games in start time order, and the first one is not even on national TV. It's on the Pac-12 network, which technically is national TV if you get it. 2.30 Eastern, though, number 22, Utah at number 17, Arizona, two teams that are still hanging on to top 25 rankings with seven and three records. Of course, Utah is coming in off a loss in two of their last three games. Tough season, though. The quarterback was hurt all year. They've been getting it done with defense. And actually, not a bad defensive showing last week, holding a potent Washington offense to just 35 points. But they came up short, losing 35 to 28. Meanwhile, Arizona came up a little bit on top, 34-31 against Colorado in the thin air and altitude. And the Wildcats are playing excellent football now. This is a team that's moving up in the rankings with four straight wins. And that was actually the first time in a month and a half they didn't cover the point spread. It's actually the first time since late September that they didn't cover the point spread. They were on a five-game win streak ATS until winning by only three as an eight-point favorite last week at Colorado. But that was a tough spot. They came out with a win, and they're still in excellent current form. In fact, if you recall, a couple of weeks ago, they pulled the upset against UCLA. In fact, they were coming off three straight underdog wins against Washington State. That was really the buy side in hindsight back in the mid-October of that 44-6 win as a touchdown dog. And then they beat Oregon State outright at home, beat UCLA by 17 as a dog. So it was not a good spot last week for Arizona, yet they still got it done. And now they face uh, Utah back at home. Let's start with the database simulation. 10,000 games simulated through the database. Does have Arizona winning by nearly three points on average in this matchup. As we talk the wager, check the wager talk live odd screen. We see they're currently a one point favorite. So it's a basic straight up win situation. And I have no problem backing one of the hottest teams in college football, both straight up and against the spread here with some line value. And on top of that, Utah might be a little hungover after the Oregon loss. Yes, they bounced back at home against Arizona State, but now they have that second loss in three games against Washington. Might not have a full tank this week. Uh, Arizona really moving the ball well offensively, balanced both running and throwing. Uh, so once again, my database simulations favors Arizona by three. They're laying just one. So it looks like the value is with the Wildcats once again this week at 2.30 Eastern on the Pac-12 network. All right, let's stick in the Big 12, uh, the Pac-12 rather. We'll get to that actually at the end. That's the nightcap. We're going to finish off with that. Let's go to the SEC actually here for the other daytime game. Then I'll get to the two nighttime games here. We've got number one ranked Georgia against number 18 Tennessee at 3.30 Eastern on CBS. And yes, it is number one ranked Georgia in all the polls now for the first time all season. Now, I know Georgia's been number one in the coaches poll and the AP poll. They've gotten the tremendous amount, 80 to 90% of the first place votes all season. Yet the first two weeks of the playoff rankings, they were second behind Ohio State. That's not the case anymore. Uh, they leapfrogged Ohio State. They're now number one in the playoff rankings as well. And we talked about the Ole Miss-Georgia game on this video last week. I didn't have a play on that game for my clients, but I said I was leaning towards Georgia. There was some line value. And Georgia's key this year has been focused spots. They're 10-0 straight up, but they've only covered the point spread three times in those 10 games. But the three times they've covered have been focused spots against Kentucky, a couple weeks later, the cocktail party against Florida, and then last week against Mississippi. And I mentioned all three of those here in the video. However, they have followed each of those point spread wins with a point spread loss. Uh, they failed to cover the following week against Vanderbilt after the Kentucky winning cover. A couple weeks ago, they barely got by Missouri by nine. And now they're paying Tennessee after a point spread cover. Yes, it's a top 20 opponent on the road, but you could make a case that Georgia might be a little bit less focused for this game after the big Mississippi win. And I do think we get some value um, from a point spread perspective. In fact, I did a standalone video. And be sure to check out the standalone videos. We do them each week here on Monday and Tuesday early in the week for all the NFL games, college football top 25 games as well. 
And I did a video for this, but I didn't have my database simulation done. It takes several days to run the 10,000 games. I do have it done now, so I wanted to refocus on it here and talk about this game a little bit more. 7.3, that's what we have Georgia winning by on average. So just over seven points on average in the database simulation. And as we check the Wager Talk live odds screen here on Thursday afternoon, uh, still 10 across the board, but we are starting to see some 10 and a halves. Uh, so once again, I like Tennessee at plus 10 or more. It's a very key number. And you might want to wait as it looks like more 10 and a halves are starting to show. So if you like Georgia, which I don't, if you like Georgia, play it early, play the minus 10. If you like Tennessee, wait. Uh, there's already some 10 and a halves out there. If not, you might find more as we get closer to the weekend. And another reason this line might climb is that Tennessee was blown out last week by Missouri 36-7. Um, and that was not a good showing for the Volunteers on defense. But their defense has been pretty strong this season. And if they're going to bounce back in a game, I think it's this week. Uh, this very well might be their bowl game uh, with seven loss, uh, with three losses, seven and three, three losses on the season. This is the biggest game they have remaining. Uh, so we're talking about a focused dog with a good defense. Uh, not a great passing attack this year, but they run the ball extremely well, over 200 yards a game, five and a half yards a carry. And I do think that run game will enable them to keep it close here for the majority of the game. And once again, Georgia has shown the inability to cover spreads at times this season, despite winning all their games. They've only covered three of the 10 games, and they have not covered back-to-back -back weeks all season. So I look for maybe them take their foot off the gas a little bit after the big Mississippi win and the fact that they're now number one in the playoff rankings. Uh, they've got Georgia Tech on deck and then the Alabama game lurking in a few weeks. I think Tennessee at plus 10 or more is a live dog worth a look here on Saturday. All right, those are the two daytime games. I've got two nighttime top 25 matchups to talk about as well for this Saturday, November the 18th. Quick reminder, though, if you missed out on a great promo code last week, I'm extending it for another week so everybody can take advantage of a 30-day package and get an instant $50 discount on my page, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. But you got to have promo code ALL30, A-L-L-3-0, ALL30, gets it done. 30 days and nights of any sport you want. You can do basketball only, football only, or do a combo, all sports. You figure out which 30-day package works best for you. But when you get it, make sure you use promo code ALL30 at checkout to get an instant $50 discount on any 30-day subscription. That offer expires after this week, so don't miss out. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, and get there quicker with that shortcut code you just saw, wt.buzz slash sm. All right, let's focus. And by the way, I didn't mention this, but number one in football sides the last two years, college and pro combined. Number one in the NBA on sides the past several years. Number one on NBA sides and totals um, as well at different times. Number one college basketball ranking a couple years ago. And this year so far, calendar year 2023, number two on NBA sides and totals. So I know this is a football video, but you really should consider the basketball as well. It's a great time to make money with all sports here in November. So check out a 30-day and save $50 instantly with promo code ALL30. All right, let's look at the two nighttime games here. We'll get to that Pac-12 game I mentioned in a moment between um, Washington and Oregon State, which I think is probably the best game of the week. But let's look at a sneaky top 25 game. And this one barely made the cut. Uh, both teams holding on to top 25 rankings in the Big 12, and that's number 21, Kansas State, at the number 25, Kansas Jayhawks. Now, if you look, I'm using the playoff rankings. If you look at the AP and the coaches poll, Kansas is not in the top 25. They're 26th and 27th in each poll. And that's because James Madison and Liberty are eligible in the other polls, and they're not eligible for the playoff rankings. James Madison is in the top 25 in both polls. Liberty is in one. I was in the other. They're not in the playoff rankings. So that's why Kansas is on the outside looking in in the other polls. But they're in the playoff rankings, and that's what we're talking about here. So this is a top 25 matchup. And it goes, by the way, at 7 o'clock Eastern, Saturday night on Fox Sports 1. And as we check the Wager Talk Live odds screen, um, on Thursday afternoon, as I do this video, Kansas State currently on the road is as high as an eight-point favorite. I do see a few seven and a half still lurking out there, uh, but Kansas State pretty much an eight-point favorite across the board after opening at seven and a half. Total fifty-five is up to fifty-six and a half. So we've seen some money on Kansas State and the over this week. Let's talk, check my database simulation. Uh, favor Kansas State by eight and a half points. Uncertainty is still a quarterback for Kansas, so that's something we'll have to keep an eye on as this game goes uh, closer to kickoff on Saturday night. Uh, Kansas State has shown the ability to cover as a favorite. Uh, I do call this a chalk coach. Uh, but once again, this is a rival home dog with uncertainty, a quarterback. Uh, they're coming off a poor show in last week, obviously, uh, just 13 points, but they did run the ball well. In fact, over 200 rushing yards against Texas Tech for Kansas. Jayhawks have now run for over 200 yards in three, two of their last three games and for their last seven games overall. So with the quarterback uncertainty, they're going to have to rely on that run offense 
but they're facing a pretty good Kansas State defense against both the run and the pass. Uh, K-State on the season giving up just 18 and a half points a game. They also run the ball well, five yards a carry. Um, both teams have good offense and defensive numbers, so they actually deserve to be top 25, to be honest with you, both at seven and three straight up. But it's a sneaky game. A lot of get t- people probably don't realize these teams are still ranked, and they are. Once again, keep it on the quarterback situation for Kansas. Uh, but right now, this line looks pretty accurate. I project an eight and a half point win for Kansas State, all things equal. Uh, they're currently laying eight on the road Saturday night. Uh, let's look at what I think is the biggest and best game of the season, or the season of the week, of the week, not the season. Don't get too excited here. But it's still, these two teams are combined 18 and two straight up, and they face at 7.30 East in the final game we're going to talk about here on the ABC National TV Network. Number five, Washington against number 11, Oregon State. And Washington is a team we keep talking about week in and week out. They've been on this video quite often for several weeks now. I thought maybe USC would get them a couple weeks ago as a small dog. Uh, Washington escaped. Last week, Utah, good defensive dog. They kept it close. They covered as a nine-point dog, lost by seven. Washington keeps winning, though, and that's why they're top five still, along with those under un- other undefeated 10-0 teams in the rankings. We've got Georgia, Ohio State, Michigan, Florida State, and Washington. So as of now, yes, Washington would be on the outside looking in. Question is, if they keep winning, do they pass Florida State, who has such a weak schedule going forward? You know, it's interesting. In the last several weeks, you can find odds at some sports books on which team is most likely to make the 14 playoff. And even two, three weeks ago, Florida State was over 70% over minus 250, minus 300, even though they were the weaker of the other teams because they had such an easy schedule. They're going to run the run the course pretty much. But if Washington keeps winning out, I think they do leapfrog. I and mean, keep in mind, Ohio State or Michigan will have a loss after next week when they meet head-to-head. With that said, though, I think it's going to be tough for Washington to win out. They've got Oregon State this week. They've got rival Washington State next week. And then they've got the Pac-12 title game as well. And this is a dangerous spot for them here on Saturday night. Uh, let's start checking the uh, first, the Wager Talk live odds screen, see how this one has moved. Washington did briefly open as a one-point road favorite, but the money has come in on Oregon State this week. Oregon State is now minus two. Total has also dropped, opened as high as 64, now down to 62 in many locations. Um, so once again, Oregon State is a two-point favor currently. My database simulation agrees with the line move, favors Oregon State by three. So once again, 10,000 simulations on average. I've got Oregon State winning this game by three. So I do agree with that line move from plus one to minus two. And three is a very key number, about a seven to eight percent chance in this game that Oregon State wins by exactly three as a three point favorite. Um, So I do think there's a little bit of line value with the Beavers. Let's look a little bit deeper here at the matchup and see what we've got. First of all, Oregon State, a very balanced offense, 38 points a game, five and a half yards per rush, nine yards per pass. Obviously, Washington is a balanced offense as well. 41 points a game. But I'm telling you, Oregon State's numbers are pretty comparable to Washington's. They've played a slightly weaker schedule, but offensively, they're pretty close. Uh, defensively, though, Oregon State is the better team, giving up just 20 and a half points a game. Washington State, uh, Washington, rather, 23 and a half points. Washington's allowing 5.7 yards per play. Oregon's al- Oregon State's allowing just 5.1, slightly weaker opponents, but they're still net differentials, plus 4.4. Washington's is only plus 0.2. So, Two good offenses, slight edge to Washington, better defense, Oregon State at home. This could be the week Washington gets a loss. And once again, both the odds, the uh, early sharp money, and my database simulation says it most likely happens. I favor Oregon State by three points in this game on Saturday night, so we'll see what happens. Hey, comment below. Let me know your thoughts on this game and the other top 25 games I mentioned. Let me know where you agree or disagree with the simulations and also where you see value on the rest of the college football card this Saturday November the 18th, week 12. We only have two full weekends left of college football. Let's make the most of it and cash in big together here on Saturday. Don't forget also, thumbs up, like goes a long way to keep all the great content free here on Wager Talk TV. And don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't done so. We're over 131,000 subscribers now. And thank you to all of you that have been watching on a regular basis for years now and have subscribed. And if you're a subscriber, don't forget to hit the bell as well for instant alerts because you know when this top 25 video goes up live each week, Next week's a holiday, so you'll know when it goes. It gets posted Thanksgiving next week. And also when my NFL Fade the Public video goes up on Saturdays here on this channel as well. So you can be the first to watch and take advantage of that great information. And don't forget, if you want my personal best bets, they're available every day on my page, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Whether you want my number one ranked college and pro football side for the past two years combined, my NBA, which is up over 100 units of profit this calendar year, Number one ranked college basketball as well. College and pro basketball, both number one rankings in the past. So it's a great time to do basketball. It's a great time to do football or maybe an all sports combo. You figure out 
which 30-day subscription works best for you. And be sure to use promo code ALL30 when you do, as it gets you an instant $50 discount on any 30-day package. But that code's good for this week only. Expires this weekend, so take advantage right now. ALL30, A-L-L-3-0. Instant $50 discount on any 30-day subscription. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. And get there quicker once again with that shortcut code, WT dot buzz slash sm follow me on twitter as well for free plays daily don't forget i post free plays on the page at wager talk also daily basis free plays at wagertalk.com and also on twitter along with videos at steve merrill two r's one l at steve merrill on twitter and x and i'm also posting free plays daily on instagram who knew i'm on ig merrill underscore steve on instagram and follow wager talk as well for great info and be sure to stay tuned here on Wager Talk TV for more great college and pro football preview videos, daily NBA videos as well coming up next. In the meantime, best of luck on Saturday in college football. I'll talk to you again soon this weekend with NFL Fade the Public right here on Wager Talk TV.